hiking solo today. This is the section from Yamacraw to Cumberland Falls that I missed last week because of a stomach bug. So uh, Brian went ahead and hiked it and uh, I'm out here today hiking it solo, trying to catch up with him on miles. Uh, Brian's feet were pretty, pretty gnarly after our last day out. And so he's at home kind of healing up and uh, getting his feet right so that we can get back out and finish out this trail. It's supposed to be a fairly cool day. We're looking at probably low 70s till about mid-afternoon that it's supposed to shoot up into the 80s. So it could be a hot sweaty one this afternoon. We'll just see what happens. It's also a chance for some thunderstorms. So maybe hiking in the rain again. We'll see. <laughs> into the hike and uh, it's been really nice the heat's starting to come up you can feel the humidity starting to rise but uh, the trail itself has been in pretty good shape uh, some really cool areas uh, passed by a couple of creeks both of them had bridges on them and uh, just really serene calm areas uh, the trail itself is in pretty good shape there are a lot of trees down you can tell that the storms that came through did a number on uh, some of the trees because there's a lot of down ones. Just had an interesting spell back there. Uh, there's so many trees down um, in one small stretch that you completely lose the trail. I actually had to get on my GPS and bushwhack my way back over to where the trail is. I'm on it now, I'm good, but I lost about probably 15-20 minutes just trying to figure out where the heck I was. Um, so many storms over the last two weeks and it has done a number on these woods. There are trees down everywhere. Because I got up so early in the morning, I decided to go ahead and stop for dinner at 4.30. Uh, stopped at Flat Rock Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, they're right there off the trail. They had a bunch of picnic tables in the back and a water spigot. And I was able to go in and eat and then uh, refresh my water supply, which was really nice. Um, we got about four miles to go. Um, I'm wanting to get in 18 miles today, so I have a little bit shorter day tomorrow going into, uh, going back into the, uh, the falls. So we'll see what happens. The sun is finally coming up and uh, not having to use the headlamp anymore to hike. I'm about, I'm between 10 and 11 miles from my truck, which is parked at the picnic area, Cumberland Falls. Um, this is supposed to be some pretty interesting walking today. I talked to my buddy Brian and he said there are a lot of trees down coming up. And he said in some of them you gotta do some serious bushwhacking to get around. Um, now he hiked it last week. My hope is maybe somebody came out here and got rid of some of those. But uh, that's a big hope. Other than that, the trail's been pretty good. Um, Got my feet wet finally. There was one little section that I couldn't get through without getting my feet wet. Um, luckily I didn't get too wet, so this should be dry by the time I get to the truck later this afternoon. Looking forward to the rest of the hike. This should be a lot of fun. the 
road walking section of the trail and uh, somebody pulled a really crappy joke back behind. They, uh, you're supposed to come out of the trail and go right, follow the blazes. Well, when you pull out of the trail and you take a look left, there's a blaze on one of the telephone poles. Yeah, I walked about a half a mile before I realized I was going the wrong way. So, I came back and tore the blaze out. Um, I don't want anybody else having to go through that again. That's a pretty crappy move, so whoever did that, thanks a lot. You're a gem. That I find disheartening today is just how much trash there is out here. I mean, take a look at all this. We got little kitty cars and you got cooler tops there's a stool just sitting out in the middle of the, of the of the trail and I don't get it I would hope that if you had land like this around where you lived that you'd want to keep it in its natural state you'd want it to be beautiful but man there are beer cans everywhere and I only I'm only showing you just a small portion of what I saw it was kind of ridiculous um, sad that people would treat would treat such beautiful land that way we're to the final stretch the last four miles of the hike we're over by the Cumberland River and uh, you're already seeing some people out in kayaks and canoes um, as I was getting onto the beach there was a truck that pulled down with a trailer full of canoes. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people having fun today. Just a short mile, while left to go, maybe another couple hours, and uh, I'll be eating some buffet food at the Cumberland Falls Resort. 